Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we are going to play with a 600 watt power supply. 600 watts. Uh, but before we get started, do me the favor. Please give us a subscribe to the channel, even if you subscribe before. Or sometimes the system unsubscribes people automatically. Also, give the video a like. Why? Because this helps the algorithm help people find our channel. And we just want to make it so we can uh, help some folks out. So very much appreciate it. So here we have the 12 volt Meanwell power supply, 600 watts. We bought it from Wally's Lights. And frankly, I didn't even know these existed. So I've been using the other Meanwell. All right, these guys, and these are 29 amps. The output is 29 amps, but check it out. This guy is chunky. Look how thick him is. So anyway, um, the difference is this one delivers a lot more output. Okay, so if we look at the uh, the numbers, right, and these stickers are really important. This is the LRS 612. That is the Meanwell power uh, model number. All right, and we look at the input, and the input says for 100 to 120 volts, uh, it could use like around 12 and a half, 12 amps, and for 200 to 240, it's 7.2 three amps or 7.5 7.5 but on the output look at that for 12 volts it outputs 50 amps okay now if we look at the mean well lrs 35012 the 350 uh watt version um it pulls what is that 6.8 amps right at 120 volts but the output for 12 volts is 29 amps right so while this one is thinner it doesn't give you as much um as much output now the reason why this is attractive to me is this year we're increasing the density of a lot of the props on one section of my house right and that additional density means i need more power but I don't exactly have a lot of extra room for power supply. So a higher density power supply gets me more power in less space. Okay. So other things that we want to look at on here. Um, first of all, I like it when the vendor puts a sticker on there saying it's from Wally's Lights. And I put the date as to when I actually received it. Alexa, stop. That way I can keep track of, uh, you know, when stuff shows up. Now, the other we want to turn it on its side here. And the C in this hole, it says 115, right? And that's important. That's the voltage. Remember when we were looking at the label, it said, you know, had different ratings for the, uh, for the input numbers, whether it was 120 or 115. So if I take a screwdriver and pop that over, now it says 220, okay? Actually, it says 230. Now, if you go and plug it in and try to use this, it won't hurt your lights. But what will happen is it will kink out. It won't get all the juice it's expecting. So it will power for a while and then stop. Power for a while and stop. So you'll actually get this rhythmic flickering. So if you see a rhythmic flickering in your display, here's something to check. So anyway, we're going to set it back to 115. Normally they come set to 115. So if you don't mess with it, you're probably okay. All right. And of course, along here, we have line neutral and ground and of course i i cheat i put the color of the wires where they go you know ground green white and black uh because i'm not an electrician and remember that my advice could burn your house down um then of course here we have v minus so this is our these three are our negative connections and then these three conversely are v positive our positive connections and then this little screw here this is our adjustment screw. This allows us to calibrate the output to fine tune it because they're not usually don't come producing exactly 12 volts and exactly how much you want can vary from year to year. There's been years where if you had 12 volts or higher, you would get ghosting in your lights. Other years you had to have at least 12 volts. Uh, so it depends on your light. So usually I try to set it for 12 exactly or 1201. Um, yeah. So. That's a power supply. So let's go ahead, hook it up, play with it. Okay. So first thing we do, we're going to hook up the power cable. 
Let me zoom in a little bit. Like that. Maybe we'll zoom in a little more. Like that. Alright. And I bought three of these. And if I like them, I could see getting a bunch more. Now if you like high density power, then your other option is to go find yourself a friend who works in a data center where they routinely will toss out old power supplies. You can get like some high density HP power supplies that um, will give you a lot of juice. But I like having something that I can count on. A lot of the uh, power supplies that come out of data centers, some of them were used for uh, Bitcoin mining and uh, could be, they could have used them all up, right? You know, it could be used to the degree it doesn't work very well. All right, so you gotta check them. Chances are they're okay. All right, so we're screwing down the ground or the green one. And definitely wanna have it unplugged for this. Now we're screwing in the white one. Loosen it up a little bit. And screwing down. And now the black one. See that? All nice and neat. Oh. oh, I moved it. There. All nice and neat. Black, white, green. Okay. Well, while I'm here, just for giggles, I have my, uh, my multimeter. And I'm gonna put, my, I'm gonna wire my black one in onto black. See, I'm just gonna lift him up, put him in there, screw him down. That way, I mean, usually I just hold them there, but I'm doing a video, so I need my hands free. It's a little more complicated, and I'm not very coordinated. So minus plus. I just screwed them down. Now we'll zoom back out here. I'm gonna set my, well first I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on. Got a green light, that's a good sign right there. On my multimeter, I'm gonna move this over to 20 volts DC, okay? And it shows me my voltage reading, and it's 12.10. That's a little high for what I want. Okay, so let's put that right there where we can still see it. And let's zoom in again. Look at that. Look at that high quality video. All right, now we're gonna take a little tiny screwdriver and we're gonna move this nut, okay? This little tiny white nut. And we're talking nudges, okay? This thing is really, really, really sensitive. So you come in here, see that? We tweak it to 12.95. I barely touch it, see, and it's down to 11.99. A little higher, oh, a little too high. Lower, 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 too low. Okay, up, up. And I'm just like, Barely touching it. All right, we're at 12. Make sure it doesn't move. All right, and now it's 12.0 exactly. So now it's calibrated. So now this guy is ready to go. And I typically do this with all my new power supplies before I install them into a system. And this guy is gonna go into a power injection box using some Falcon distro boards. Okay, another really quick Safety tip, important safety tip. When you're dealing with a power supply like this, especially the mean wells, you see the, how the power is on there, you got the little green light, all of those little screws are pumping electricity, right? If you touch these little screws, it's gonna hurt, right? So very important, do not touch the screws while the power supply is powered up. Other power supplies I've seen come with a little metal, a little plastic flap that will flap down over the uh, terminals to keep you from touching them. 
for whatever reason. Meanwhile, which is the safer version, does not come with this, right? So just be aware. Safety tip. Don't touch the screws. It'll hurt. You won't like it.